What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're in Superior National Forest. We're gonna be going to the Boundary Waters through the Moose Lake access right now. We're gonna be going on a canoeing trip and it's gonna be super cool. I'm here with my dad, Mr. David Kinsman, Dr. David Kinsman. Plenty of mosquitoes, the Minnesota state bird. Yep, mosquitoes, the Minnesota state bird. And we're here trying to survive. So let's get out there, see what happens. All right guys, this is our first portage. Our first portage together. We just got our canoe out of the water, all of our gear is here, and we're gonna take this path down the way. One roll of toilet paper. One roll of toilet paper. <laughs> we just finished our second portage. Uh, we did not film the first one at all, just because it was a new thing to get used to. That's our, our first portage for both of us. And we were too busy film, feeding mosquitoes to film. <laughs> yeah, I got probably 40 on my neck. So we're walking back to get our second load of stuff. Um, and then we made it all the way to Basswood, so we'll see you guys out there. We're gonna get some uh, get some filming done on the lake, get some fishing in, uh, and then we're gonna we're gonna set up our campsite first, though. So next time you'll see us, we're gonna be setting up our camp, and we'll get oh, that filmed. Show the waterfalls. Yeah. Oh yeah, and you'll see the waterfalls coming up in a second. Yeah. No, that's okay. Okay, coming up right here on our left is our campsite. It's a pretty nice spot. All right, guys, so here we're here at camp, and this is how. Here's the first thing. This is how we keep our worms cool. We just put them under the shade in these rocks. Then the water comes up and cools them down. So those are protected there in the shade. But up back here, we have the rest of camp. So we'll do a little quick camp tour. Um, this is where we keep our canoe. We'll probably unload it tonight. We're gonna go back out pretty soon to go fishing. But here we are. Here's our where we launch it. Come back over here. We just have some random stuff laying around. But back there is our tent. It's nothing special. It's a pretty good four person tent. We got a little rain shield up there on the top. Um, back over here, we have uh, where the cooking station is typically here. And over here, we have our super bug tent net thing. This is where we spend most of our time. We just hang out and relax in here. All right, guys, what's up? We're back at camp. First fish of the trip. It's a beautiful little smallie. We're gonna cook this guy up and eat him. We'll see you guys later. What's up, guys? It's breakfast. We're eating some breakfast skillet. Very good. We just cooked it in the jet boil, the off-brand Chinese jet boil. Homemade spoon. Pretty good, yep. Homemade spoon. This is my spoon. It's kind of a spork. And there's dad's spoon. Good spoons. Just eating it out of a bag. Just like in the good old days, they used to eat everything out of bags. Mm, my spoon sucks. No, it's pretty good. What's up? We just had a breakfast skillet slaying a piggy bass right offshore. Love to see it. Yep. <laughs> Pulling trophy smallies in the boat. Okay guys, so here's a little water angle of where we are. Our campsite is right here, and then we have a little bay right here, and then there's a rocky point over here. It's still part of our island. I'm gonna swim from our campsite to the island, just for fun. Hey. Oh, sunglasses. Oh, and life jacket. Yeah, I see it. All right. Whew. 
There we go, a little swimming exercise. Much needed. All right, guys, we're just cooking some delicious smallmouth bass that we caught here. Chef David, back at it again. This time we got a really tiny little firebox thing. This thing is actually super sweet. It's really doing the job. I'm just doing that right in the old fireplace here. We got two more fish still on the stringer. We're gonna eat those tomorrow. Uh, but man, this is gonna be a delicious dinner. All right, we're just finishing up cooking up the fish, but this is my friend Pepe. He's a good boy, Pepe the frog. And then I just wanted to see if I could pick up these smallmouth bass. Oh yeah. So there's that one just super bright colored. And then there's one just past it that you can almost can't see. Just look at the difference in coloration there. That's super cool. They were both caught within five feet of each other. So that's really awesome. Yes, now I get all the fish to myself. Sucks, dad, sucks to be you. <laughs> all right, bone up the teeth. Yeah, that's really good. All right, here you All right, what's up? Just crushing a little perchy in 25 feet of water. It's a pretty good boy. Let's get him back in there. All right, just got another one. We're gonna make him do a little flip. Nice. All right, and we got Mr. Loon right here. He's our little camp friend. He just kind of hangs out, dives down, gets some minnows, comes back up. All right, we got some lunch right here on the stringer. Ready to eat them. We're gonna cook them up. Other part. We got the flays, they're ready to go on the fire. Now we gotta put the uh, fish into the breading, shake it up real nice. Get them all seasoned and battered and ready to go into the oil. Shut it off. 
Don't overdo it, it's kind of windy out, so let's keep it reasonable. It's turned to Michael Buble. Think it's time though? I think it's time. You're getting hungry. I'm getting hungry. Broke the seal. Mmm, delicious. Mmm, yummy. That has got to be the biggest spider I've ever seen. Oh, there he goes. Holy smokes. There's our loon friend. All right, guys, so it's Wednesday morning. We're actually packing up camp a day early. We're gonna try to move over to um, Wind Lake to fish that a little bit. Um, so fishing here hasn't been the greatest, uh, but it's been okay. Uh, but plus, we don't wanna do two portages in one day. So we're gonna do our first portage to Wind Lake. And that's because dad has uh, an ankle injury right now and a bad foot, uh, so hauling all the gear it can't be that good for them. So we're gonna try to do it just uh, one portage today, and then we're gonna do another portage tomorrow. So that's the plan. We're packing up camp, and we'll see you guys back at Wind Lake. All right, guys. I just found a wild strawberry. I've n this is one of the only berries, wild berries I've never found yet. But we're on our portage back, and I found a wild strawberry. I kind of smushed it a little bit, but I'm going to give it a try. Okay, the bugs are really bad, so I'm going to eat it in here. Let's see if it's a strawberry. Oh, my gosh. That's so good. That's delicious. I've never found or picked a wild strawberry before, but that was wow. Oh, I'm getting goosebumps. I'm gonna go see if there's any more there. It was just a really small one right on the trail. I'm gonna see if I can get any more. I couldn't find any more. The bugs were pretty bad, but that had to have been the one of the most delicious things I've ever tasted. It's, oh my gosh. It was so sweet and so good. I'm just in awe about that strawberry. I can't stop thinking about it. Okay guys, I just bushwhacked it off the trail just a little bit to show you this pretty stream just running through here. It's pretty cool. And this goes all the way down this way just a little bit. And that, this is the stream that we cross over on our portage. I'll show you that again. Here's the crossing right here. Oh, it's pretty. Feels really good on your feet. Goes over this way a little bit. What's up guys, we're making the return journey on our portage right now. We're on Wind Lake. We're almost to uh, the Moose Lake, Wind Lake portage. And then we're pretty much home free right after that. So I'm just making dad do all the heavy work while I vlog and he's gonna paddle us all the way there. Guys, there's a moose out on this island right here. We saw our first moose of the trip. Wow. That is so cool. I know he's pretty far away, but you can see him pretty good on camera. Oh wow, look at that. We've just been here for like 20 minutes and this moose is still just sitting there letting us watch it. Guys, we just uh, did our first por first portage, just our halfway through our second portage. Got the poles out, decided to cast a little bit. Got this nice smallie right at the last minute uh, before we ended our trip. So, really happy about this one. Look at this! Look at this piggy! Oh my gosh! 
We just, Dad and I just doubled up. I just caught the biggest largemouth that I've caught in years and years. This is an absolute pig. You got a, you got a eight Look at this. How many pounds is this? This has got to be six. That's a, probably six. Seven, this has got to be pounder. seven pounds. Doubled up, baby. Six or seven, doubled up. <laughs> Woo! Wow. My fish could eat your fish. Put it in his mouth. Look, if I hold mine out <laughs> to the camera, it looks bigger. Yeah, but look. I think your fish was hunting my fish. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What's up guys we just finished up our trip and we just got to the canoe landing got all of our gear out we got the canoe up on the roof now we're headed back to Ely since we came out a day early we don't have a place to stay so we're gonna try to call around and see if we can get anywhere to stay uh, we're gonna eat at a nice restaurant yeah and then we'll see our motel hope the trips not over yet even though we're in the clear so we'll see you guys later all right, guys, we showered at the motel. It was great. We got a nice dinner. We slept pretty good, and we woke up nice and early to head back to Wisconsin, head back to La Crosse. I'm here with Dad. He's driving here. Dad, what did you think of the trip? I thought it was a great adventure. Very physically challenging and demanding. A little bit scary at times. <laughs> yeah, it was we, pretty good. I think we brought too much gear. It would have been more fun had we not brought quite as much stuff. And could have brought a little more bug spray. True. Was it fun? Oh yeah, totally. Good. I had a good time with you, Dad. Love you. Love you too, bro. <laughs> <laughs>